And I think you're right. Growing up, people were more homophobic than they are now, completely. I think, though, that when I hit my teens, uh, and, you know, so I would have started working and entering the professional world, whilst, and also uh, so part-time, but was also at university full-time, society had made some traction around homophobia by that point, by my early 20s, yeah? However, Islamic society had not, like diaspora right. Islamic society had not made any traction, I would say, um, around that uh, homophobia in, in our community at all. Um, so there was this clear distinction, actually, as I became older. When I was younger, so when I was thinking about when I was like, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, society was homophobic. School was a homophobic place. But when you grow up Muslim, even if you're not that practicing, you know, there's certain tenets that you're taught to believe. And one of them is that there is God, that Allah is watching everything you do. And there are some core sins. There are some really core at the heart of Islam sins that are not okay. And homosexuality is one of those. So even if you're not praying five times a day, even if you're fudging your Ramadan, like eating at school, but then going home and pretending that you've been fasting work to your parents, like that is more acceptable than being gay because there's just a universal condemnation around homosexuality or that stuff. Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim majority countries advocating for atheists, secularists, and enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.